today we are looking at the king of fifth wheel toy haulers. This one isn't a huge one, but it's definitely not the small one. It's that mid-sized toy hauler, and that's why it's one of the best sellers of all time. This is the 2024 Grand Design Momentum, the model 349M. We're taking a look at the outside features and the inside features, and we're starting in three, two, one. video today I am super excited we're here in Richmond Virginia taking a look at this awesome grand design before I begin let's say hi to Will hey Will hey guys. how's it going it's going good like Matt said we're in Richmond Virginia so you so you guys are seeing a lot more grand designs yeah and that's because um, we don't sell them in Tampa or Ocala so we're bringing a lot more to you guys while we're here yep grand design is such a good product and uh, a lot of people who watch the show always ask for it so we're excited to bring it to you. It's kind of like when we review Keystone Montanas and Cougars. Yeah, there's so many back-to-back. -back. Yeah, there's so many back-to-back -back because we can only review them once we're in Ohio and Michigan. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there, there's times when we don't review stuff. Model is 349M Momentum. The actual tip, tip length is 38 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 14,584 pounds. And the hitch weight is 2,925 pounds. This is a big old beast. You 100% is going to want a 3,500 dually for the pin weight of this bad boy. Right. Big, heavy, awesome in America. Right up front here, we do have a very nice molded painted fiberglass front cap. Look at the molding. Look at how aggressive those edges are. It is. I really, really like that. It screams toy hauler. Right here, we do have the Rhino pin box by Lippert. Underneath here, we got batteries. NPS uh, generator already installed. And I love how this door magnets to that Oh, that door. is cool. So right here is the storage. That That's you get tons of storage. Yeah, from the other side as well. Okay. But I love that. Yep. That just makes a lot of sense. Coming on down. We got propane tanks. Okay. Hydraulic leveling, six point auto leveling. That's hydraulic, which is very nice. And then here, it's funny because it is a good amount of storage, but the door kind of stinks. It you does, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a battery disconnect switch here, centralized vacuum. Um, and it's just like the front storage always stinks on our toy hauler. Right. That's because you got a garage in the back. That's right. Right here, you got power outlets. And then right here is a spray port if you do want to have water on the outside. Nice. Now, what the heck? Oh, that's oh, the door. That's yeah. for the door. Okay. Okay. So, to have the door open, you got to go like this. Mm -hmm. And then right here, we do have your Lippert uh, screen protector. I love that. Okay. Uh, Very nice. Air compressed steps. Love that. I always want to say hydraulic, but it's air compressed. Yeah. Really nice there on that piston. Nice solid steps right here. Right here, you have this awesome safety rail from Morai. I love that. It's just clean and sleek, easy to use, easy to set up and pull out. If you look at those stickers there, Will, we got the WeatherTech package, Arctic insulation, which means heat and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. Nice. Um, Grand Design loves rocking the Rockford, which is There cool. you go. Uh, it gets a really good sound system. And then here, whenever it says thump, I thump, that's fully laminated walls and three year structural warranty. There you go. Coming on down here, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights, frameless windows on this M-Class. And we do want to let everybody know, Momentum has two units. They have the M-Class and the G-Class. And the G-Class is the cheaper unit. Okay. This one's the better unit. Right here, we got a TCL TV on the outside. Nice. Again, those Rockford speakers. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Coopers. I love those. 215-75R17.5 with the Morai CRE 3000 suspension. Love that. Slight correction, guys. Uh, M-Class is better than the G-Class, but there's also a regular Momentum class. So it's Momentum, Momentum M-Class, Momentum G-Class, and then Momentum Mav, which is their entry-level toy hauler stick and Right. Tape. Coming on down here, womp womp fold-up steps. You guys know we don't like these. At least they are the aluminum tread fold-up steps. 
and the 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 at least it's the fold up steps aren't in the garage taking up your garage right space. right so we will give this a pass you know what okay. I'm saying? coming on down there's another power awning with led lights here just really awesome really nice and there's something that i forgot to mention ah uh, it does have the dexter abs anti-lock braking sway mitigation on this fifth wheel love that very awesome Coming around the back, we have this Moride zero, zero G ramp door, hydro safe. It also doubles as a patio as well, and it's your ramp door. Love that. There you go. And there is another awning and a backup camera there. Coming on down the side, we do have a side mount ladder. Right here, you have a side vent right there for your garage area to get the fumes out. Nice. Right here, it's always locked, is uh, a fuel pump. Cool. That way you can, uh, you got a gasoline tank on this. Right. And you can uh, fill up your ATVs and golf carts. Place the dump one of your gray tanks there. Coming on down here, we do have a Furion instant hot tankless water heater, which is very nice. Right over here is where you dump your black and gray tank. Nice. 50 amp power service, okay. And then right over here is your wet bay. You have the Nautilus system right here. Really nice outdoor shower, black and gray tank, pull valves, water filtration system. And then right here is your Lippert auto leveling. Um, don't like this. Maybe we make this a dislike. I don't know. It is in a good spot, which is fine. But the touch screen, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if there's anything else more major okay. that we can talk about. And then right here is another propane tank. Well, Will, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go. Take a look. All right. Let me uh, show everybody the inside. Okay. I want to do that for once. And you know what? Well, then we'll start in the kitchen area. Sounds good. But first, let me do this. For... And the reason why I'm doing this, y'all, I'm not trying to take away Will's job. It's, um, let me remember you. Will's having some trouble with this camera. And so now I'm trying to see it to, uh, experiment some but here's the living room area you got a nice loft that sits above the entrance of the garage all right nope no second bathroom in this unit oh there's not nope interesting nice tv entertainment center <laughs> all right Bedroom here. Well, where do you want to get started today? Start in the kitchen, but before we do, we need to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Matthews, time to get up. Oh man. Oh hey Jen, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's time to wake up. I'm just laying here with Tucker on my Aurora Lux mattress from RVmattress.com. Jen, do you know how hot it is outside? It is a scorcher. Let me tell you something. Nothing's worse than having a hot and stinky mattress. And the one thing that I want to point out to everybody about the Aurora Lux mattress that I've been sleeping on for the last six months is the awesome technology here that they use on these mattresses. I don't know what you would call this, but this technology keeps it cool, especially on these hot summer days. If you guys aren't familiar with RVmatches.com, they are a Brooklyn betting company. And if you click our link down below, you can get 25% off your order. What they do, they specialize in making custom sized mattresses for your RV. They're located in Arizona. They have free shipping and 120 night sleep trial guarantee. So if you're not 100% loving the style of mattress that you're sleeping on, reach out to them and they will take amazing care of you. They make different mattresses, different sizes, different firmnesses, and it is one of the best investments that you can make in an RV. Again, thank you so much to RV Mattress for sponsoring our video, especially during these hot dog days of summer. Let's continue the video. And we're back. So we'll start right over here. So one thing, this floor plan does not have a dining out, which is just huge, and it's so important for this. For, you know, this floor plan and for toy haulers in general. And for the feng shui in here, to be honest with you. This, like, toy haulers always feel so crammed because you're trying to fit, you know, a 40-foot RV 
in 66 percent of that space you know a third of it is going to the garage yeah they're trying to fit a 40 foot living area in a 26 right, foot right. because the other 14 feet of the garage yeah, yeah exactly. exactly nice hand laid backsplash all right uh good countertop space on both sides of the sink this is an awesome sink i love this with the extension faucet the little cup cleaner the waterfall we'll put the video overlay right yep yep oh. it's there thank you Nice storage, uh, a little bit of storage there. Okay. A little bit here. Hey, that's a $178 that's trash right. can. Nice trash can spot there. And then these drawers here. Yeah. They did a really nice job with the cabinetry in here. Yeah. With the, you know, upgrading to the drawers and all for that. For sure, for sure. Oh, and Will, by the time this video's out, Yeah. we've done the world debut of the yeah. uh, Grand Design Lineage. If you guys haven't checked that out, check it out. But while we were in, in New York City, we also did a pickleball tournament together. Right. Uh, you want to tell everybody how we did? Sure. Bing. That's how we did. We don't know yet. How do you think we did? Um, probably good. My guess is we didn't get gold because there's a lot of other players Damn. that are playing that are better than us. We've already checked. Damn. Really nice big high point microwave here. It looks like just a standard microwave, no uh, convection. Okay. Nice window on your non-camping side. Four burner insignia stove. One thing that I really like is they pushed it all the way over as much as they could here. Okay. Because this, not a lot of space, but it gives you room to put your spoons and tongs and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, that tong, ta tong, tong, tong. <laughs> storage right here. Guys, you guys, you guys think like we plan these stupid phrases. Right. And it's just the way my brain works. Turkey <laughs> tested. Turkey approved. Now, before you continue on, I do want to take a moment. This is an awesome sheet here from uh, Grand Design it that is. goes over the difference between a uh, G-Class travel trailer, or this is a regular G-Class fifth wheel, a Momentum M-Class, okay, and then a regular Momentum. So it goes over the differences. This is really awesome. That so, is cool, actually. And then it just goes over, you know, some of the other great features that, you know what, that truthfully, Will, we don't talk about all the time on the yeah. show and so I, I really love when manufacturers put that in for sure and with that said you missed it what that's a nice tower of power oh i didn't do the island yet oh uh, oh 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 well, let me let, <laughs> continue on nice nor cold refrigerator here okay this is actually one of my favorite refrigerators works really really well and then you have two drawers here right there and right there Love this pantry space, plenty of storage. And then you have some like really high storage that most people probably don't use. Oh yeah. But at least it's there. That's where the wives put all the cookies. Right. Oh, nope, yeah, nope, nope. Like sorry, sorry. So like kind of taking a step back, the one thing that I really love about not having the dinette is you have so much like walking space in here. Yeah. It flows so well. You have to, and you still have this kitchen island. And again, the fact that you can access it from either side is huge. That that's really good flowometry. Nice solid surface countertops. I like the color. I think it looks good. Hey, that's a nice tower of power there. It is. Nice storage here and right there, and then a drawer underneath. Very nice. I think that's the kitchen, right? Awesome. It sure is. Continuing on with the living room. Just continue on. Well, okay. you're you're doing good. I'm trying nice to diagnose this camera. I haven't had any issues with the camera, though. Good. You have, uh, I, I like how they added this little accent to the glass. It looks really nice. TCL TV and a fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Love that. Love that, sir. And then over here, we got one, two, three, and four. Huge sofa, theater seats, flush floor slide out. Up, all of them recline. Okay. They do not do the feet. flip down. The flip down. Okay. I'd rather that they all were climbed. Yeah, so. definitely. Um, let me sit in one. Left or right? Uh, you're right. Oh, I actually would have thought it was left. Nice recliner. All four of them reclined. There's still plenty of space. You got cup holders right here. Um, USB charger and everything. Really, really nice. And then... We got four big windows on the slide out. We do have privacy blinds. No, day, no daytime blinds in this. Okay. Okay. Good looking balances. 
And again, look at this, uh, whatchamacallit there. The lighting? Is that yeah, what you're like saying? the trim of the woodwork. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know? Just the, the accent wooding and everything. Looks nice. Uh, and then if you peek up there, we actually do have a loft area up there. There you go. And then here's what makes Toy Hauler special. You got a, you got this garage area. Oh, yeah. Now, this floor plan is actually optional Option. half that. Interesting. That's very cool. Um, also, you can get it with a 13-foot garage or an 18-foot garage. And so it just makes it absolutely massive in here. Right here is the back patio or the back ramp, and it does drop down to make the patio. You got some bar stools there if you do want to eat at that kitchen island. Nice. And then right here, you got two beds. But not only that, this bottom bed flips up, and then it makes a dinette area. There you go. Uh, right here, we have all these individual D-ring tie-downs. And then here's some water hookup uh, for you to put a stackable washer and dryer. Love that. Uh, you'll probably lose this if... Um, well, it'll probably move to the to middle. The yeah, it might move to the middle, but you might lose it if it goes to the bathroom, or it might go to the middle. Yep. I love these tangible buttons here. And then look at that. You got a backup camera in here in the garage area so you can keep your eye on your toys while you're towing down there the road. There you go. Right there, you do have a TV. Okay. Okay. More storage above there and more storage above here. Cool. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit here is $138,511. Will, MSRP. Jen, please call Cosmo. Bing. See if you're allowed to advertise a sale price because I believe we're allowed to advertise a sale price after July 1st. Okay. But I'm not sure. And this video might not even be in July 1st yet. Might not Regardless be. Regardless on if there's a sale price there or not, Will, I know we can always get everybody the absolute best price in America on this grand design or any grand design, all you guys got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach out to you and they will help you with one thing and one thing only and will. That is the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Go stand in that shower for Sounds us. Good. It's an encore shower. Okay, well, first, well, sorry. Does have the one control here, which we're not a huge fan of. Okay. Uh, it does look like a more up to date one control. But see, look, like, like you see how like I'm pushing favorites, and it's not, and like you really, yeah, I'm not a fan. Give me tangible buttons. Really nice, you have a step down a little bit, which okay. is huge. Plenty of width, plenty of depth. I love this shower head, and look at the head height in here. Love that. It is awesome. This definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Sure is. Not only that here, we got a very nice mirrored medicine cabinet. Okay. Oh, with liquefied, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, you can get this by going to primepoopingposition.com or uh, liquefiedrv.com. And this is our actual company. Thank you guys so much. As you can see here, plenty of uh, mirrored medicine cabinet. Okay. okay. You have very nice um, storage oh, under the one. sink. It's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, it's different. It's different. It's rounded. But because of that, Will, I mean, I don't mind it rounded. Uh, because this is a prime poom position. Ding! There you go. Very nice. And overall, Will, I would say this is a small bathroom. It is, yeah. And they still did a really good job executing it. Wrap it on up. You have a very nice north to south bed. Huge wardrobe here. Okay. Huge wardrobe here. Yes. Look at all these drawers. Tons of drawers. Yes, sir. More storage there. I love the way this cabinetry looks. It looks very nice. Yeah, let me get this side. Storage here. Very masculine. Right there. Which might be a turn off for some people. Right. But I'm a masculine dude. Show that storage right oh. there, Will. Little side table, you have power USB and USB-C. Side table and then under that is some storage. And you know what? I do like how it curves up there. 
But I really wish Grand Design gave you like a filler for a Yeah. Moment. You know? Mm-hmm. And then right here, storage underneath the bed. There you go. You know what I'm saying when I say the filler? Yep. Like it should be a custom I totally color. agree, yeah. But you do have the option for a king bed in here or a queen bed in here. Nice. So I love that feature as well. Well, tons of different features and tons of different options. That's what makes this unit so popular. But that's it and that's the review. Now, before you all leave, it's time we give you three things that we love about this unit, three things that we don't like. Will, what do you want to do first? Three things we dislike, but it's going to be hard, I think. Oh, no. Okay. My, my, mine's pretty easy. Dislike number one. Well, dislike number one for me, I haven't said this in years. I haven't seen this in years. I absolutely hate this. Yeah. I would rip this sucker off of the wall or from the door. I hate it. I hate how it's going to be doing that while you're driving down the road. And I hate how you're going to have to come out here, unhook it, you know, right. give me a friction hinge door. Yep, or give a magnet. Some, or a magnet or something. Yep. Something to where I can use a little force to get it off the magnet. Right. Yeah, I do not like that at all. That's just like number one. Will, what's this like number two? Do you have a dislike number two? I feel like I'm stealing it from you. No, you're not. Okay. I I totally agree with you on this bed situation. Is that worth a dislike though? Yeah, because your pillows are going to fall down there. Your phone's going to fall down there. Mm. There, there's a decent sized gap. What I think that they should do, I kind of like the curve overall. Oh, I like that for sure. But then they need to build this straight. Yep. And then you could almost do like a little shelf on top. Love that. You know, something yep. like that. Yep. 100% agree. I don't, I, I don't think that was worth a dislike. But you know what, Will? I'm not going to take it away from you. <laughs> okay. That's number two. And then you know what? You know what, Will? I, actually, I think you're right. I think it is harder to find more dislikes. We have here. the one on the outside. Well, for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm going to combo it. I'm going to say the one control. Yep. And the touch screen for landing gear. Yep. Guys, you're going to be hot. You're going to be sweating. Your fingers going to be wet and moist. I don't want to deal with the digital screen. Right. And then it'll that be raining on you. That digital screen landing gear. You know what? Let's redo this whole video. No, we're not really doing that. But we said that we might not make that a dislike. We'll see if there's anything else. No. No, sir. From this point on, that is always a dislike. Yeah. Because no, I, I don't. I just want to push buttons. Yep. Don't get me wrong. I'll give the pass for the LCI on the inside, right? And we right. Love, by the way, we love Lippert. I do not like their technology with the digital screens here. I don't want to push buttons and play with an iPad in a hundred degree heat. I just want to click on and auto. click off. Hit auto level. Auto level. Got three things. We don't love about this unit. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Will, do you want to go first? Sure. What is it? It's this living or this kitchen area for me. Fact that there's no dinette. You have a nice kitchen island. You have plenty of room in, in this kitchen. Plenty of countertop space. Residential style appliances. It looks very nice. Love it. That yeah. is love number one. Will, what's love number two? Love number two. I'm going to say... Yep. I'm going to come into this garage, and not just this garage. Garage is all, always great, but I love how they actually give you so many options with it. Exactly. Hey, do you want the toilet, the, the bathroom, or no bathroom? Boom. Do you want the bigger garage, or do you want the smaller garage? Boom. You know, it's cool. I like w that. What do you want? The 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 way that they give you Burger the options? It's, you can have it your way. <laughs> dang. Have it your way at BK. I love it. That is number two. And then, well, number three for me, um, huh. Number three, number third. You know what? I'm giving it to him again. ABS. Yeah. Especially on a big fifth wheel toy hauler. This is big, heavy. It's dangerous to tow. It's not dangerous to tow. But whenever you're this big and heavy, mm -hmm. it's, it's dangerous. Especially in the rain or it's if you got caught up in snow, whatever. It you gives know? you the ABS. That's just a freaking awesome feature. And I must say, I'm going to give it to this flyer as well for explaining all the differences. I love that. making people like you or people like me guess. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's it, Will. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this grand design or any grand design at all, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach out to you. They will get you one thing and one thing only. And Will, that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. 
I've definitely always loved the momentum and love to see the new floor plans. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely Thank everybody you. so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.